And time for the booster box game that nobody watches, Zendikar Rising Collector Booster. I am uh, nine for nine on the booster box game involved in these. So let's give it a tenth try. I uh, finally dramatically struck out on the set boosters. I had what was the second worst box opening I've ever had. But this, this is a set that keeps on giving. And people started to care a little bit. And I feel like that has uh, once again stopped. It's kind of crazy to me. I mean, I, I know Zendikar Rising is not the strongest set in Magic. But the fact that you can pull the Expeditions in addition to some of the cards in this set. And it has a decent rate of pulling the Expeditions, really, when you think about kind of like a chase card kind of situation. It's, uh, it's really not too shabby. So, all right. So we start off with the Legion Angel in the extended art. All right, our first pathway. I like to track those. Merc Water Pathway and the regular artwork. Sorry, I have to move the boxers, box toppers to the side there. McKindy Ox, Skyclave Geopede, and Morog, Fury of Akum, the first of our mythics. Fledgling and Magmatic Channeler for our extended art. Okay. Now, there are people that are in the know, and I'm just waiting to the point that. Uh, Rudy pops up and is like, guys, these boxes, go and buy them all up. But I, I think even if he said that about these, people still wouldn't do it because they would just assume he's sitting on like a mountain of them. Okay, Myriad Construct, Akiri, Fearless Voyager in the regular artwork foil, Psycat, Fledgling, and Clearwater Pathway. Oop, Merc Water Pathway. McKinney Ox, and fortunately, Verizal to end that box with the dramatic disappointment. Okay. All right, so next pack. Let's get through those commons. Swampy. Master of Winds. Remember, this was a original speculation card that didn't really go anywhere. Valley Cut Exploration, it's pretty decent. Nectar Pot, Squid, Shade, nah. Legek, and Coral Helm Chronicler, extended art. All right, so we had another week pack there. So it's two in a row, unfortunately, but you're gonna have those in this set. That's why you don't buy this by a single pack, ever, ever. I know I've said that. Ooh, Term Timber Symbiosis Extended Art. Nice. Okay. And Glass Pool Mimic, which is one of the better rares. Yeah. Help if I line things up properly. Needle Verge Pathway. Pillar Verge. Territor Territorial Scythe Cat. Polluted Delta Foil. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Woo. Oh, uh, that is... That is nice. Okay. We don't have all day. See? Two bad packs, and then Turn Timber, Glass Pool Mimic, Needle Verge Pathway, Foil Polluted Delta. Delta. All in one shot. That's why you don't buy these by the single pack, because they literally every single, what, this again is my 10th box. Um, every single one has complete busted packs and completely strong packs. It's just, it, it's one or the other. Okay, Akiri in the regular artwork, Master of Winds Foil, the Squid, the Jerboa, Lotus Cobra, Skyclave Pickaxe, and Sh Shatter Skull Charger. Womp womp. Yep. You know what? Ah, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Again, when you do a bunch of different boxes, sometimes you forget about what you're doing. Oh, man. I see people do these in one shot, and I know I'm just being way too gentle, not wanting to bend the single card, but here we go. Okay. Sea of Clouds. Yeah, you could do worse. Good. All right, let's get back at it. So Sea of Clouds, one of the Battle Bond lands, the uh, multiplayer lands, the crowd lands, whatever title you want to give them. 
I don't think that's ever been fully decided by the Magic community. I could be wrong. Iona, Baloth, Dreadworm, Beladar Retreat, Raccoon Hellhound, Lithoform Engine, and Foil oh, Extended Art. I have actually not pulled the Foil Extended Art of this yet. That is awesome. That That is exciting right there. That That's cool. You know what's sad? Versus the retail price of one of these packs. That still didn't hit it. <laughs> uh, that's why you gotta buy this by the box. <clears throat> okay. Slundy. Thieving Skydiver. I mean, seriously, I look forward, Mall of Skyclaves, to the day that I find these packs on clearance somewhere. Because nobody's buying the single packs. The Mammoth. All right, Nectar Pot. And Celestial Colonnade. Okay, not a not a spicy hit, but that is the first time I've pulled this out of the uh, Zendikar Rising Expeditions. It's pretty cool looking. Okay, yeah, not not a strong hit by any means, but used to be at one time. It used to be a extremely spicy card. All right, everybody, uh, these are my nemesis. I just fear the bending. Okay, do I have it out? Uh, <laughs> okay. And Morphic Pool. Okay. That is the most expensive of the crowd lands, battlebound lands, multiplayer lands, whatever you want to call them. And that is not a bad hit at all. All right. So between the Polluted Delta, Morphic, Morphic Pool, and a couple other things, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now let's see if we can hit some of the mythics in this set that you want. Okay, Undo Inversion, Bright Climb Pathway, I'm not going to flip it over, Veloth, Felidar Retreat, Bright Climb Pathway, Prowling Felidar, and Invala. Okay, what do we got left? Four packs? Okay. You know, there's still time to get another Expedition. I got those first two pretty quickly. It does seem like that is usually the sign you're going to have a five Expedition pack. Tabarax. Skyclave Apparition. Now, this, of course, what is, is probably still the most expensive rare in the set, um, but I think it has actually just recently been passed by uh, one of the Pathways in Foil uh, because this is in one of the Commander decks. So it has kind of fallen back to Earth a little bit, at least temporarily. It's probably a good time to buy in, if anything. Okay. Dread Worm, sorry, it's fixing my piles. Rune Crab, another pathway, because what the heck, why not? Bell off. Skyclave Shade Foil. Eh, okay. I swear you get at least two to three shades in every single box of this. Okay, let's get to the mountain. Bell off. Yasharn, the regular artwork. Lagak. Good old Scoot Swarm. And. Ah, the Archpriest. Okay, two packs left. One more solid mythic hit would be would be good. We actually. Is that three mythics so far? <laughs> three mythics out of one of these is pretty low. Okay. Hey, finally. Balagad. Finally. Okay. Kaza, Royal Chaser. Let's go, uh, Shatter Skull Charger. Okay, like anybody cares. Elemental. Is that, uh, wow, I'm getting close to all the pathways here. And Orn Reef. Oh, okay. Last pack, everybody. We could use a little bit of last pack magic. So if I just did some quick math here. You know, we're actually about there. So let's see what we get out of this. But this is definitely not one of my stronger boxes I've had. Overall, even with the foil polluted delta. Ah, uh, Tazri. Why? Why do you have to... Jace Mirror Mage. Oh, man. So, okay. So there's a clump of mythics. Two of the weakest ones you can pull. Okay, Valcut, Squid, okay. 
Brake line pathway foil. Okay. You know, when you stop and you look at this for a minute, while this is not the strongest Zendikar Rising box I have opened, um, this hit the price again. That's crazy. These boxes can't miss. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe for more idiots opening boxes. Thanks for watching. Bye.